So trigonometric identity tan x minus sin x divided by sin cube x equals to secant x divided by 1 plus cos x. Okay, so let's start with the left side and we can write tan as sin over cos and then simplify and see what do we get. Okay, so left side we'll start with and we can write tan x as sin x over cos x minus sin x divided by sin cube x. Okay. So when we simplify this, we can take cos x as common denominator. So we get sin x minus, let me write cos x first as common denominator in the numerator, right? And we get cos x sin x. divided by sine cube x. So I can write sine cube x here itself. Okay, times sine cube x. So that's what we get. So in the numerator, we can take sine x common and then simplify, right? So we get sine x 1 minus cos x. And in the denominator, we have cos x, sin x. So one of the sin x can cancel out, right? So let me write this as cos x times sin cube x. I'm writing as sin x times sin square x. Reason is that I'll cancel out these signs and write sin square x as 1 minus cos square x. Okay, so let's do that. So we'll cancel out this sin x, right? And then I get 1 minus cos x in the numerator divided by cos x times this sin square x I'm writing as 1 minus cos square x. Okay? So Pythagorean identity, got it? So we have sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1, so we can always write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. So that is what I did. Uh, now this is like difference of squares, right? a minus b, a square minus b square. So a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b. So that's what I'll do now with my 1 minus cos square x. So this could be written as 1 minus cos x over cos x times 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x. Do you see that? So 1 minus cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos square x. Correct? Now I'll continue here. Now you see this cancels out, right? Now I'm left with 1 over cos x times 1 plus cos x. As you can see, 1 over cos x is secant x. So you can write this as secant x over 1 plus cos x, which is the right side, right? So left side is equal to right side. Therefore, the trigonometric identity has been proven.